Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.2, uses of metals. As always, we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Please note I'm only posting half the topics in the syllabus here on YouTube. The entire syllabus is going up on my Patreon, link below. Also, if you like the slides I use in my videos, which can be used as a teaching resource or a vision guide, they will eventually be available to download soon after I've finished producing all the videos. Once done, I'll put a link to those in the description as well. You need to describe some of the uses of metals in terms of their physical properties. Number one, aluminium is used in the manufacture of aircraft because of its low density. So aluminium has a density much lower than that of other common metals, about one third of that of steel. This makes the planes lighter, which improves fuel efficiency because less propulsion is required to keep them in the air. Number two, aluminium is used in the manufacture of overhead electrical cables because of its low density and good electrical conductivity. This makes it significantly easier and cheaper to transport and install compared with heavier materials like copper and allows electricity to flow efficiently. Number three, aluminium is also used in food containers such as baking trays and cans because of its resistance to corrosion, which means it doesn't rust. This makes it durable or long lasting and protects food from contamination. Number four, copper is used in electrical wiring because of its good electrical conductivity, which allows electricity to flow efficiently with minimal resistance. Copper is also ductile, which means it can be stretched or drawn out into a thin wire without losing strength or breaking. This is due to the ability of copper ions to slide over one another when force is applied without breaking the strong metallic bonds holding them together. Well done, you just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.2, uses of metals. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon where I'm uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 9.3, alloys and their properties.